must. I brought you a little something. Well, that's awfully kind of you. <clears throat> Won't you come in? No, thank you. I just wanted to see that you were all comfortable. That's all. Hey, Miss Henry, I never slept in a four-poster before. Does it make any difference which side you get in? I can't imagine why. Uncle Ed slept in that bed for eight years, and he got in and out all right. Until the day he died. I, uh, think I'll sleep in this bed. <laughs> Grandpa died in that one. Well, good night, Mr. Harmon. I can't tell you how much we appreciate your coming down here. The pleasure is ours. <laughs> good night. I hope you all sleep well. Thank you. Good night. And Henry, don't keep Mr. Harmon up too late talking. Oh, Miss Henry. Yes. Um, good night. Good night. Uh, Mr. Harmon, my room is right next to yours. And if you want to talk about the play, come right in. Don't be afraid of waking me. Well, thank you, but I wouldn't care to discuss the play until I get a perspective of the entire subject. Good night. It is a little long, isn't it? Uh, yes, that's it. I might get a more definite idea if I had a little synopsis. A little synopsis? Mm-hmm. I don't think we have any synopsis, but I can get you some homemade wine. Oh! That guy's going to fall himself into an idiot. Well, boys? It worked. Nice people. Nice room. And from the way you're attacking it, nice food. What's the matter with your appetite? And the sister. She's lovely. Say, that hired girl ain't so hard to look at either. That leaves me, Grandma. She's a sweet old lady. Well, who said she wasn't? I couldn't find any wine. I got some apple cider. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's much better than synopsis. <coughs> Well, uh, good night. Thanks for everything. Thank you. Good night, Mr. Harmon. Well, don't be so formal. Call me George. Oh, thanks. And uh, my name is Henry. Yes, I know, but isn't that your last name? It's uh, my first and my last name. My full name is Henry H. Henry. Oh, what's the H for? Henry. <laughs> Henry, Henry, Henry. Yes. <laughs> my folks liked me so much that they couldn't stop naming me. <laughs> But my personal friends all call me Hank. Good night. Shall I call you Hank? No, thanks. I have an alarm clock. <coughs> it's beautiful up here. Does all this belong to you? It belongs to Grandma. It's only a small farm, but it's been in the family since the Revolution. She'd rather die than part with a foot of it. <laughs> I don't blame her. She's a great grandmother. Well, not yet. Oh, honey. <laughs> well, she now... wouldn't be if I had anything to say about it. <laughs> You're lovely, Linda. Have you ever thought of going on the stage? <laughs> well, what could I do on the stage? Say, I played opposite lots of girls who didn't have a tenth of your looks and ability. <laughs> You're lovely, Linda. Marvelous pie, Grandma. And yeah. that chicken was great, too. You know, I was 16 years old before I knew a chicken had anything but a neck. <laughs> <laughs> great jam, Grandma. What kind of berries do you use? Oh, any kind that's current. <laughs> Get it? Current? <laughs> My play is full of those kind of jokes. <laughs> uh, Mark Crack. Well, if you are all through, we might as well. May I help you, Grandma? Oh, Grandma, that's What a meal. That chicken what was really something. Mr. Harmon. Yes? Can we discuss it now? Oh, I'm sorry, Henry. I... I really can't discuss business on a full stomach. You shouldn't have given him that extra piece of pie. Henry. Oh, I got a complaint to make. Why does he keep stalling me about my play? He doesn't mean to, but... Did you get to talk to him about it today? No, I haven't had a chance. But you've been with him practically every minute. Mm-hmm. I guess I better take things in my own hands. Henry. Mr. Harmon. Henry. Mr. Harmon. Yes? I'd like a word with you, please. Have you changed your mind about producing my play? Why, uh, of course not, Henry. What gave you that idea? The way you've avoided talking about it ever since you came here. You still think it's good? Henry, I think it's just as good as it ever was. Then why don't you produce it? Uh, produce them? Sure, why not? Isn't that what producers usually do with plays they like? Well, you just can't produce a play like that. You've, uh, you've got to try it out. What for? Well, to get an audience's reaction, to make sure that it's really good enough to bring into New York. If the folks in New York like it, it'll make a lot of money, won't it? Oh, of course, Grandma. A successful play will make a fortune. 
I'll say it can. One hit, Grandma, and you never have to worry anymore. Well, let's do that. That uh, trying out thing. Well, <coughs> unfortunately, I have no theater vacant at the moment. They're all booked by stock companies. If you had a theater, would you try it out right now? Oh, sure thing you know. If I uh, <coughs> had a theater. Just a minute, Henry. Uh, I'd like to talk to Mr. Harmon alone. May I? Gladly. I'd like to ask you a very important question. You can ask me anything. Well, there's just one thing I'd like to know. Would you really try out Henry's play if you had a theater? Certainly I would. Why? Oh, I just want to make sure about something. That's all. I certainly never heard of changing a barn into a theater. Why, Grandma, I've been reading up about the little theater movement. In this month's little theater magazine, this is... A complete diagram of an old warehouse turned into a theater, and it's beautiful. That's where I got the idea. Does <laughs> all the audience feel funny seeing you play in a barn where a livestock is here? You see, Grandma, we can use the floor of the barn for the auditorium. We can have boxes on each side. The hayloft can be the balcony, and we can use the old carriage room for the stage. And we can rent our chairs from the undertaker. Oh. Like they do for bridge parties and wait. Oh. But what about the livestock? Well, if it's necessary, I'll even keep Sarah and her family in my room. Oh, don't be silly, Henry. The weather's nice. They can stay outside. But suppose the audience doesn't like to play. Mr. Hans says they'll love it if he knows. Well, I don't know. It'll take an awful lot of money. I wouldn't want you to do it, Grandma, if you've lost confidence in my play. But I haven't, Henry, dear. <laughs> It really isn't his song, you know. It's ours. Ours? Yeah. You know. Two together. Two alone, two together, on their own. A hundred and twenty million people rushing here and there. But we're a happy pair, for we're so in Language that speaks to me. 